Hello and welcome. It's Amanda here, Creative Gardener. Thank you so much for joining me. And I would just love, like to say um, thank you for all the new subscribers to the channel and thank you to the regular su subscribers who have been here from day one when I first started this garden adventure um, three or so, three and a half years ago. It's been an amazing journey to be able to um, spend time in the garden and um, see how many of the plants that I can grow have success with some, have failures and you know it's all part of the learning curve and um, I really appreciate being able to spend time daily out here and Cole, I don't know where he is, um, <laughs> make sure that I come out uh, three times a day at least. Um, so I'm out here in the mornings and um, afternoon uh, kind of lunchtime just to give him you know time to run around because he doesn't want to come out on his own <laughs> and then Evelyn so um, this is Evelyn now but um yeah I wanted to just introduce myself to those who are new and who've come on to um, my channel and uh, have been kind of looking around at some of the videos. So um, I'm a mixed media artist and I create using a variety of different uh, supplies and materials. And I'll leave my link to my art channel. And I do things like art journaling, painting, sculpting, stitching, slow stitching, everything you'll see. Um, and I enjoy that. And I've always wanted to grow a food forest. And so when we got the chance to be able to move here, um, initially it wasn't something I relished, um, but it had to be done. And so I started not looking at what I didn't have, but started looking at the potential and what I did actually have that was wrapped up in not really pretty packaging, but if you delve deeper, you could then see the treasure. And I've been able to see the treasure in this space and every day something unfolds itself or I'm surprised by something or I exceed my own expectations in that the, my learning curve has just grown so much. Um, I've learned about, you know, all the different plants, the properties of plants. I've seen so many more different species of insects, <laughs> um, different insects than I thought I knew. Um, learn um you know ways in which to deal with pests how to work with nature and just been wowed by so many beautiful things that have emerged out of being in the garden and um i'll leave also a link to the first uh video the playlist of where it first started um in the garden and and how things have grown and yeah, I've, I've got videos of me gushing over plants, <laughs> broadleaf thyme, um, and just being amazed by plants. And so, yeah, one of the things that I want to do out here is grow a food forest. I want to be able to come out, and I have done over the years. It's just like, I can tick that box that I can come out, pick a papaya, or pick, you know, some drumsticks from the um, moringa tree or the leaves or you know some herbs or you know so many different pumpkin planting bananas I've had so many um, fruits and vegetables that have come from the garden 
um, that it's been an amazing it's been an amazing journey and what I've done is share that journey and so it's been great to have so many people who are interested and who've come along to join me on that journey offer their advice their expertise and just you know saying a friendly hello encouraging and um, so one of the other things that I, I want to do out in the garden was to so we've got the food forest you've got plants that are medicinal and so what I've been trying to do is learn as much as I can about the properties of different plants and use them and then about two two years maybe ago three years I harvested some cotton and so it was just like oh my gosh I can also have plants that are I can use creatively so I spun the cotton have used that in certain projects and um the banana leaves I can make paper you know what plants the stem of the the banana leaf is quite fibrous so that you can use it like rope so I've been taking the tropical black sage and um, using it as uh, smudge sticks my pomegranate so dyeing um, as well there's so many different things that I found that I've been able to do and so that's the other journey that I'm going on so how can I create my own dyes from the plants from the leaves I've recently got some henna I've got a henna plant behind me that's been growing really well and um, looking at how I can produce um, the powdered henna and how I can use it in dyeing fabric or um, you know dyeing paper and um, that's been really exciting and I've used things like the Clitora tenetia or it's what's it also I know to only know it by that name but it's called the blue what is it called I can't remember what the um, kind of collo colloquial name for it blue pea flower or something like that but the Clitoria tenetia is its official name but that it gives a blue dye and I've been using that again to dye fabric to um, use as an ink the avocado and so it's now another layer of my journey our journey where we can not only look at what plants what are the benefits of the plants but we can get dye from plants use the fibers and the whole garden become you know sustaining um itself where you know you're cutting back and then you're chopping and dropping you're getting the medicine from the plants you're getting the visual the um you know the scents that come from the different flowers that are growing and i'm seeing plants that i didn't plant the, some of the birds may have dropped some of the seeds and I've, I wanted some um, scented plants, scented flowers and the birds came through and I've now got uh, a plant called Quadrilla Indica. There's not much information that I found online but the, the flowers very tiny and they've got a kind of jasmine like smell, very sweet. I didn't realise the <laughs> you see, I was just I could go on with the plants. But yeah, it's it's having those plants um that are scented as well that um helps with the whole experience has just been amazing. So in this <laughs> little chat I wanted to just thank you again for joining me on this journey. Um I'm going to be resuming posting on a weekly basis and I do, there is another um, weekly video that I want to share and it is through the, um, so using the leaves and the plants in teas and I want to share that and how I use them. 
But um, yeah, it's been a, an amazing learning curve, an amazing journey being out here, learning about slopes and, you know, how do you address that and just nourishing the land and, and making sure that I, I give back and provide a space that even the mongoose can feel at home. <laughs> yeah, not so much the mice. Um, yeah, we've got seven species of bird that come here and I've seen um, a green parakeet and a blue parakeet and that they've been the highlights as well as, you know, being able to actually pick the food and, and cook it. And I must go back, I've got some um, Moringa trumpets to go and pick because I'm going to be making some soup today. But. Thank you for joining me and if you're new here and you haven't yet subscribed you know consider doing so it's always nice to know that whenever i post a new video you'll get alerted but i'm going to be resuming again we had a little break and sometimes you need to take stock and uh, that's what i've been doing so take care for now and i hope that you have as much joy as i've had in your green space or you'll get joy from visiting me here in my green space and just just i mean listening just you know yeah anyway so take care for now thank you for joining me and i'll see you soon